Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Play Earthworm Jim 2. There was a pretty good response to Let's Play Earthworm Jim, so yeah, I'm doing this one. Plus someone requested that I do it, so yeah, why not? Oh man, Psycro stole Princess What's-Her-Name. Yeah, I didn't know Jim could play the accordion. Yeah, that's kind of catchy. Ooh, this one is singing. Shiny. This is nice. Nice options. Normal mode is fine. Those are the controls. So yeah, this one, I'll actually be far less sarcastic and praising the Nintendo version. Anything but tangerines. Because the, the Nintendo version allows you to switch your weapons. In this one, you can switch between the different types of weapons you have. There's an extra life up there, but we can't reach it yet. There's some more ammo. You can get those guys with your whip, but it's kind of hard to reach them. And they'll probably fire at you before you can hit them. Earth? Remember that now? Okay. Before we progress, the other thing is that in this one, Jim has a friend named Snot. Ah! So he will help Jim on his adventure. His, or adventure. So this one, if you see boogers on the seal, like dripping boogers on the ceiling, you can use snot, because boogers stick to boogers. Well, if you get them to stick, if you get them to hit, there you go. There you go, and that's how you get the life. So you still have your whip, but it doesn't seem to be as useful in this as it was in the previous game. It's still useful for attacking enemies. All right, those are uh, homing missiles. That's why it's in the shape of a house go up here. Yeah, I practiced the first level a bit, so I found out uh, where a bunch of weapons are. I'm going to try to save my special weapons, at least for now. It's probably going to be completely useless if I die, but okay, press down and you pick up a pig. Look out for the swine flu! Okay, we barely made it. Uh, let me get this. It's useless, but I'll pick it up. Well, let me show how useless it is. Blow a bubble. Wow. Yeah, send the pig down and have him land in that bowl, otherwise we'll get punched in the face. Oh shoot, I gotta deal with these guys. There we go. Okay, there's more there's more boogers over here. These These are the uh barn busters or something? They're really powerful. They have a long cooldown, but they destroy everything on screen. Man, get the life now. No reason not to. Head over here. Barn Blaster, I think that's what they're really called. Pwned! Well, I, he punched me in the face too, so I guess we're kind of even. Okay, there we go. Drop a bunch of junk on him. All right. Remember that scene from Gremlins with the old lady? Careful. Don't let the old ladies hit you or they'll, uh, you'll have to start over at the bottom of the thing. And then they'll call you fresh. Ah! Alright, well, there you go. That's another reason you have to start over. If you don't catch the pole, I think you have to, uh, use your head and whip it or do something else. Ah! Careful. There we go. Yeah, now I get it. Hit this continue. Alright. Alright, wait. Yeah, that's the kind of confusing thing is that your parachute, your snap parachute, you have that instead of a helicopter this time. Your snap parachute is your fire button, which is kind of counterintuitive. It would make more sense to me if it were the jump button, but then the jump button is your, uh, do that. So here's a little bonus area. We go into the light bulb shaped teleporter. We got some bagpipes, that's nice, that's lovely. And then we have some kind of pictures on the wall. I don't know if those are supposed to be sharks or... Sharks or what? Or what? I don't know what they're supposed to be. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't do that right. Fresh! Well, I got to show the old lady calling me fresh. There we go. Make it... Careful. There we go. And then slow down. Yeah, it's all about controlling your speed. Wait for the old lady. There we go. You bet I'm going for that extra life. Okay. That was fun. And we're very close to where we just were. See, that's the bonus area where I went. Boogie. Boogie. 
Alright. Worm. Even though it doesn't... Well, it could look like a worm or a piece of bacon or a... Part of a, uh, anatomy, let's say. Yes. Oh, I don't want to fire this. I didn't want to do that. Well, that's what it looks like. I was hope I hope I got that guy. Oh, and then I got the electric chair. Yeah, see, I didn't want to waste that thing because there really aren't that many enemies here. I didn't think I had it switched over to that. There's a three-finger shot. Don't need that, really. Oh, wait, before I go over there, before I get up here, so Earth, Worm, and then Jim. So I think those are some kind of a flag system that you can use, too. All right, it's... A password system, sort of. If you collect all the flags, then you can get back to the level or something. But this is level one, so... I'm not really too worried about that. Heavy pigs. Look out for the fish bowl. Get over here. Set them down. Look out. There we go. Alright, wait for the fish bowl to get out of my way. Set it down. All right, now I can drop down here safely. Nothing here yet, but if we go up here... Way cool! Way cool? What's way cool? The doing that causes those things to spawn. All right, what's this? Hey, I remember you. Fight. I love the Mortal Kombat references. Nom nom nom. Very good. All right. Hey, looks like we're done with the level. And in pretty good time, too. Well done. Well done. The cow in the back grins. Yeah, this game is a lot more off the wall than the first Earthworm Gym. So, this is a pretty long level, so I'm going to pause it here, and I will see you next time. Bye.